So in today's episode, we had the Roadster finally down off the lift over a long winter's break. It is nice outside today. We're gonna get it on the road and we are taking the car to Nashville, Tennessee to get a few upgrades with speed design. So on the road, let's see if the car will start up. I haven't been as good and actually starting the car up. I think I've started up once or twice this year. Let's get a little fuel in it and let's see if it starts. Roadster's warmed up. We're going to try to get uh, a few miles on it here. It's too nice not to drive it, so it's one of our favorite things is to hop in this Roadster. And the top is going to be coming off uh, to take it to Nashville, so maybe we'll even put some miles on it down there. So, in the meantime, let's take a little ride. Hear the sounds. It's just not much better. No words needed. Well, we made it to Tennessee and we're at the home shop of Speed Design and we're gonna show you one of our favorite trucks. You remember this truck, we're getting ready to pull the Roadster in, but we gotta check out the F100 Speed Design F100 here first. Yeah, that is the ride height of the truck. And again, if you look at that truck, that is the one that we did the Bonneville and back. We were in nine different states. And I want to say, Gil, did we do like 4,500 miles in that? 4,500 miles. 4,500 miles all the way Bonneville and back in that thing. From here all the way there. So great memories. There was a lot of videos on the truck and all of our stops along the way so if you want to watch some cool videos check out our bonneville trip but we're getting ready to get in the roadster now and bring it inside so that's next coming at you
You should have used the uh, hydraulics here yeah. for airbags. <laughs> Scrapes on everything, holy crap. So what we're gonna do with the Roadster is, my back is always messed up, so Gil here is going to redo the seat. Right, we did it the first time and um, <clears throat> we figured that it's a little bit too, it's not low enough for him and it's not back enough. So we're gonna go ahead and redo the whole seat and make sure it's more comfortable for him to drive. Um, you have, he wants to stretch out a little bit more, so I think that's, so what we're gonna do so nothing their fault i agreed where everything was but after driving it for was it a year i think she has probably two years than that, probably maybe two, two years. years just to be able to stretch my legs out a little bit more and try to go down a little bit more so we're gonna yank it out redo it and try to put it underneath the body a little bit more because <clears throat> i'm really tall <laughs> that's sarcasm i'm not that tall but uh, the seat, yeah, lifts out really easy here. <clears throat> I think you could, oh, seat heaters. Yeah, we do have the heated seats, so we need to keep our heated seats. Those are all plugged in. That's part of like, hey, mama wanted those, right? Yes. Happy wife, happy life. So not only do we have heated seats, but we have the, the vintage heater here as well. So. With the top off, we get some heat, or with the top on, it really keeps it nice and warm. Maybe put the rear glass in, and you can drive it, uh, and that, that heater will blow you out. But uh, especially on a cool morning, driving to an event or something, um, we can bundle up, but get it out pretty easy. So the nice thing about Speed and Design, too, they make the base, uh, our trunk latch, everything is all hidden and then the seat just kind of fits in place so it's really nice but again carpet underneath and then just a couple bolts and this thing pops right off yeah it comes right off yeah absolutely we got to try and figure out how to get around that battery um but i don't think that's going to be too much of an yeah. issue and we're actually going to add straps this time so we had some straps made uh in here so our leather straps are going to go on the door so gil's going to do that as well right oh i forgot that you had your Parking brake right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. So that's what's in store here for the Roadster. We're going to yank it out. Maybe we'll show you where the seat comes off. We're going to do one or two modifications. I say we, but Gil and Braxton. Yeah. Kevin yeah. became French on us real quick. Yeah. I'm really not going to do anything. I provide moral support and I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> but but they're gonna do all the work so check out speed design in uh, nashville tennessee area again they've done the roadster for us they're gonna do the five window and then after this we have one more car to bring to you and that is the five window well no well besides that one well you got two five. Oh, you got three window three. and five window i'm sorry so the five window and then the three windows next yes so we're going to bring the 413 coupe next he's going to redo the seat same thing we're going to bring the seat down in the 413 coupe push it back and we're going to do a rubber floor uh cover up all the dynamat so he's going to do that where we can just brush it out and and drive that thing comfortably as much as we can we so we get mine done too for the gathering so so we do have to have that one done so this one. we'll show you real quick it'll bring me too many at the same yeah time. so gil does have to get his three window done so gil do you mind sharing a little bit about your car sure sure um well unfortunately it's like one of those kind of cars it's been i guess it's been seven years now that i've been building this thing and i've changed it so many times and bought parts two three times and I'm just ready to finish this dang thing and with Kevin and everybody else pushing I think that we're finally going to get it done hopefully I mean but this is it we've got a new hood on it um we did the Zeus fasteners um pop out you know windshield all that good stuff so um it's coming along slowly but surely not not fast enough but it's getting there we've got the, the deck lid mover too so we got all that that going rear bobbed um so it's it's coming along but so maybe here in another couple of years we take 
We take this one and the 413 coupe back to Bonneville. Oh yeah, that's definitely, definitely. We got to take that back and we've got to, we've got to do that trip um, all the way there and back. But this one, I'm really trying to finish this one up this year so we can at least get some time in it because it's just been a project that's been weighing on me, you know. Every time I, every time I think I'm going to get it done, I go and buy a new truck like the you know like the yellow truck and i'll go buy a uh a, i bought i think i bought that cat eye now to do and then i sold my other 32 and so now i'm looking for something else and i went wait hold on i better not buy anything else i better just finish this dang thing and then um that should be that should be on the road here pretty soon So we're just hanging out in the shop tonight after hours with Speed and Design, had a nice dinner, and we're watching a good movie down here, Three Mile. If you've never seen Three Mile, go on, I don't know, probably Amazon or something like that. You can watch Three Mile, talk about Rolling Bones, good movie uh, about going to Bonneville. And then we're getting ready to look at uh, Gil's laser machine where he is going to make some new keychains for us uh, with our brand new logo so stay tuned for those coming to our website but we're going to watch him do some laser cutting on his machine for some new keychains uh, our opposing cylinders keychains so just hanging out with hot rods at speed and design well we're on our way back to Nashville, Tennessee to pick up the Roadster and we have the 413 Coupe in the trailer. So we're swapping out cars here with the uh, Speed and Design. And we got on the road this morning, 5.30. So our goal, a lot of weather coming through, uh, rain and just everything. So we're gonna try to go down and back today. So it's gonna be a 10, 11 hour day uh, heading down to Nashville and back. But excited to pick up the Roadster. We'll show you more of uh, what uh, Gil and Braxton did there. And then we'll uh, dump the 413 Coupe for its new interior and be sure to watch a follow-up video on that. So still continuing to drive on the way to Nashville, Tennessee. And we will see you here in a few hours. Well, we made it to Nashville, back inside Speed and Design, and the Roadster is all done. So we'll show you a quick glimpse around the Roadster, and we'll tell you a little bit about what Gil did, but we're gonna have maybe him state what he did as well, since he's the interior guy. But let's show you the Roadster real quick. And he is he's working on the, the gas pedal a little bit. We moved the arm down so my foot can rest a little bit more so my leg can stretch all the way out now so uh so that'll be real nice and we also he took out some of the foam out of this we moved how far did we go back gil we went three and a half inches so three and a half inches so, so so what happens is now that he's moved back you're not sitting up here where where this area starts. So he's actually sitting lower and back farther. We didn't want to go too far back because you just started hitting your head here on the, on your top. So we kind of just took out an inch here and then three and a half inches back. So the seat used to come to about right here. Wow. And so now it's all the way back there. So it actually, it's going to be easier. And now, especially with the pedal, you're going to be a lot happier with the way it drives. So it's going to be great because I can actually sit inside of it now and stretch my legs all the way out and Man, I have so much more room and I'm down. How far did you say I'm down Gil? You're probably down about, I'd say about an inch. About an inch? Yeah, because like I said, you were sitting here before so you were sitting right You know as as it comes up in this area. So you were kind of sitting in this area So now that it puts you down you're back down right here in the in the spot where you should be it's going to be a lot better for you and now like you said your leg here 
doesn't hit when you shift it back over. So yeah. I think you're I think you're gonna be happy, and you're gonna be happy with this pedal actually. Because that, that's that was a killer. So the nice thing before when I'd put the shifter in drive, I couldn't lay my right leg over because it, the knee would hit the shifter. So now with being back three inches, I can stretch my legs all the way out. I can shift my right leg over. My left leg can stretch out. And then being an inch down, I'm a little lower with the uh, curved windshield. So it really makes it nice. I'm ready to drive it and put more miles on it. So it should be a lot more comfortable. I can stretch out my legs. And those that know me, my back is not the best. So anything to give me an extra half an hour or an hour of drive time is going to be terrific. So thanks to Gil and Braxton here at Speed and Design for redesigning the seat. And it is all heated seats in here as well. So they uh, retain the heated seats um, so now it's time to pull in the 413 coupe and replace it, get the Roadster out and replace it with the uh, 413 coupe. But while he's finishing up the gas pedal, we'll give you another quick look just inside with these three cars and then we'll show you again the 413 coupe once it gets in. Okay, so... 34, it's in here. We got it ready. We're gonna review the car here in a minute for Gil to do the interior and get the Roadster out of here. So the Roadster will be getting loaded up going back to Ohio. But isn't this a good photo here? Just with the Roadster and the coupe in place. So the 413 coupe will be joining Gil's coupe as well and we just need Gil to get the car done. Well, we'll try and get the car done. Hopefully that car can get done and be in the new shop that we're building right back here and uh, take some cool photos with all of them. So how big of a shop are you building? What are you building, Gil? Um, it's a 50 by 70. 50 by 70? 50 by 70 with I think like a 10 foot pad for a trailer and all that. So 50 by 80 maybe, 82, right? over there so it's already if you can see it he's cleared the trees out right trees expensive trees yes they're all gone so that whole area will be all garage and shop and a lot of concrete oh, yeah too much concrete it's so expensive <laughs> so it'll be nice so you'll be able to back right in he'll have a big driveway concrete all the way around and just pull right in with the trailers and load cars and yeah. be able to store more inside here so it's gonna be killer thanks yeah can't wait okay let's get the roadster loaded up and then we're gonna go over the the 413 coupe and what we're wanting to do and gil's gonna share some ideas okay the 413 coupe is right at home now uh i think we have a strategy here and Gil is, we're gonna to try to redo the current seat Yes. a little bit. We kind of have a game plan. We have some rubber floor picked out. Yes, we do. And I'm just leaving everything else up to you. Yeah, exactly. Try and get the seat around that tunnel. Yeah. I think that's the big deal, you know, so you can have and then more room for you. Just reach out, so I think we're good. So that's a wrap. We'll see you on the road back to Ohio. Give us a like, give us a follow. If you like today's video, smash the subscribe button and go to our website at Opposing Cylinders. There's Pee Wee. <laughs> Gil's playing with his dolls again. So check our website out at OpposingCylinders.com for all the latest rides for sale where we have probably 80 plus vehicles, hot rods from all across the country for sale. Shop today, OpposingCylinders.com.